Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so recently Krishan went to her brother's football game with her baby, Krishan Jr. And Blueface was not too happy about that. So Krishan ended up getting her son baptized at seven days old. Blueface was not in attendance, but he was happy that his son was baptized. Blueface tweeted, that's more like it. Don't leave his side. That's a Blueface baby. Hallelujah. He also reposted a picture of his baby at the church. Blueface also tweeted, I trust Krishan with my son. That's it. Nobody else. She's actually very nurturing and caring. Good with kids. No doubt. Just a little impatient. And the baby needs patience. Can't just get up and go no more. I'm being patient as hell. You don't think I want to get up and go right now? The timing's not right. I'm assuming his fans were mad that he was actually on Krishan's side. So he tweeted, when people do the right thing, it's okay to cheer for them. That's how you get them to continue to do the right thing. Sheesh, y'all mad I said something good. He then tweeted, gotta have the same energy, vice versa though. When they make a bad call, you gotta boo them. Can't cheer for bad decisions. I rather the baby in a church full of God-fearing, faithful people, if anything. I believe in the same thing. So it's safe to say that he's happy that his son was baptized. He did clarify that his biggest pet peeve with kids is somebody else changing his baby's diaper. So that's why he was upset when he seen Krishan outside by herself. He didn't know where the baby was. So Blueface wrote this in response to Krishan bringing her baby to her brother's football game. He wrote, okay, the baby at the football game makes me even more upset. Shake my head. Bad call for sure. Can't cheer for that. I tried to give her props. Then she proved she's just taking him on long trips around everybody too impatient. Blueface did quickly delete this tweet, but obviously people caught it. Krishan wrote a few messages in response to everyone talking crap about her and her baby. She wrote, Krishan Jr. came out the wound a legend, respected or get the F lost respectfully. The only thing my child deserves is love, respect, and guidance. His mommy will never disrespect or neglect him. I know what it felt like having an absent dad or mom. It's one thing when people are loud or wrong, but when you choose to be both is something else. Shake my head. I pray for my enemies for real because I'm gonna keep going up. Now as for Jaden, according to Blueface, Jaden has the fastest growing music career he has ever seen in three months and three songs later. Even though he did post her music on his YouTube channel that has millions of subscribers, but she is number 22 on trending for music. So Blueface's mom, Carlissa, wrote this message to her son. It says, it's okay to lose your mind about one of your kids, Blueface, especially when you aren't present. If something had gone wrong, they would be saying it's your fault for not getting the baby knowing it's her first time. Glad you are able to say something nice about the mother of your child because you have to deal with her for the child's whole life. She then wrote, listen to y'all's parents. They just want to save y'all from bull crap like this. All he had to do was listen. Now he got 18 plus years to feel this stress and pain that no one should ever have to feel. Honor your parents. It may seem like we're trying to tempt y'all, but really we trying to stop y'all from making the same mistakes. Turns out Rock didn't leave my grandson with strangers. I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding. Just worried about the baby. Grateful he's okay and blessed to have a mother who had him blessed by God on his seventh day. Definitely shouldn't have reacted off of the internet impulse. So someone clearly sent a fabricated tweet from Jaden Alexis to Carlissa and she responded, y'all going to the hot place for this. It says, first off, yes, I renamed the child because what B makes a little boy a junior. Secondly, Blue will be getting a DNA test because I was told she slept with R&B singer Ray J. It clearly looks fabricated. So whoever did this was clearly just trying to make a joke or they were trying to make Jaden look bad. So there is a tweet going around that is claimed to be Jaden's tweet that says she renamed the baby Kanye. So it's clear whoever made the first tweet is continuing on this fabrication with the second tweet. So Jaden did tweet this. I know I always get brought up into the same storyline drama, but I only speak up when my kids get brought up, rightfully so. And other than that, I don't give a F 
and he's sitting right here. So don't think this one of those tweets. I said what I said and I stand on anything I have said or will say. Everyone is a little confused from this tweet saying that she's going in circles because she didn't get to a point with that tweet. I completely understand speaking up when someone brings up your kids, but she didn't really get to a point in this tweet. So I'm assuming she's talking about her previous tweets. Now, some fans went as far back as 10 years on Jaden's Twitter to find these tweets of her saying that she doesn't like kids. It was clearly long before she even had kids, and I think she was about 13 or 14 when she wrote these tweets. I personally don't see what anyone's motive would be to go through Jaden's entire Twitter page to go that far back and find these tweets, especially when they didn't even know that they existed because for sure nobody was watching Jaden's Twitter 10 years ago. But I think the point they're trying to prove is that Jaden can't take care of Krishan's baby if she doesn't like kids. Because most of the time, if you don't like kids, you probably don't like kids for your whole life. And when you do have your own kids, you'll like your own kids, but you won't like other people's kids. But who knows? She obviously grew up from then. It's been 10 years. So maybe she changed her mind about that because once you have your own kids, things change. No not only that, she's speaking on parents not being able to control their kids in public. And now it seems like she can't really control her child in public either. Because it's not that simple to control your kids in public. And obviously you only figure that out once you become a parent. So she probably learned her lesson from writing those tweets. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.